Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to create this classic letter editing in the app IBS Paint Text. So first I have opened a 3 to 4 ratio canvas and here is my first layer and in the first layer I am going to add a text. So the letter going to be P and the font I am using is Sheriff Bold. So here it is. So the size I have kept as maximum and if you want to increase you can increase. And since uh, I want the letter to be at the center of the canvas I am using the grid option. I just click on the grid option and based on the boxes above and below spacing same. Uh, I have kept the uh, P letter at the center. You can see one and off boxes at the top and no under of boxes at the bottom so now i'm going to add some details to that so here i just going to add tail leg detail using the uh, lasso fill tool not exactly a tail it's like it will shape at uh, uh, all the three corners both at the bottom uh, of that P shape and one twill at the top side. So you can add many details, many different floral like details, botanical details as you want. But I want to create something classic and like a royal style. So I'm just adding this uh, detail. And yet I want it to be a simple and classic one so i'm not going to add more details so i'm going i'm going to keep it as elegant simple something like that so i'm just working everything on the same text layer so if you want to uh, add any details to the text layer you want to uh, to make the layer as uh, layer as a la rasterized one so when you click any uh, brush tool with the same uh, text player on it will show the option to rasterize so yeah now what i'm going to do is i'm just placing, uh, placing the mirror ruler at the center of that vertical position and i'm going to add some motif details so for that i'm going to erase the uh, shapes uh, from that P letter using the lasso eraser tool. So something like that And just actually erasing the black uh, details black areas in the shapes beautiful shapes using the eraser tool lasso eraser tool So the technique may sound unique different so you can also try okay so i just clicked off the mirror uh, tool option and i'm going to add some details at the in the bending of the p-shape as well so you can try many shapes like motif shapes or uh, botanical line art shapes or doodle shape anything as you wish so now I am going to duplicate the P, uh, P letter. Well, I am going to keep on as an invisible one because I am going to use them later. And uh, now using the alpha lock option and using the uh, you know uh, lasso fill tool, I just change the uh, color to this pink color. And now I just duplicated the black color P once again and uh, keeping at the top. I'm going to create some border for the uh, you know pink uh, P. So what I'm going to do is using eraser tool and the curve option, clicking the curve option both together. I'm just erasing like this. Actually, the pink line we get is the erased one. So now, if I click the bucket tool and the eraser option from the bucket tool. I just erase some part of the black. So here is our black one. So I just increase the opacity of that and I'm going to erase some of the minute details that I left while erasing that. 
so this is our pea now with some border so now I'm going to change the color of that border with lasso fill tool and keeping the alpha lock on okay yeah this is how it has it works so now I'm just going to duplicate it and keep it aside because if I need to make any changes or I need a later on I have to um, use them so in that case I will just duplicate and keep at the bottom so now what I'm going to do is created a clipping layer with the add blending mode I'm going to add some glossy uh, highlight textures uh, highlight details to the P so we are in the clipping layer of the P and the brush I'm using is charcoal mode brush so I am using the same pink color which we used for the P and just adding details only at the center of the shape. So now I am going to add some shadow details. So I am using linear burn bread, uh, I mean the blending mode and using the dark pink shade and the brush I am using the same charcoal mode brush. So I'm just adding darkness to the uh, corners of the piece so it shows some like a 3D look, like a 3D bent at the corners. You can see some changes, some difference once I added this shadow detail, dark shadow and I also adding these dark details at the corners of that erased motif shapes so that it also look like um, transparent details with some bendings, metallic bending, something like that. Okay, I almost finished adding the shadow details to the P. So this is how it looks. Now I am going to create the same details for the border as well, border of the P. And what I am going to do is using the add blending mode clipping layer, I am adding the highlight details using the charcoal mode brush and the VG color. So this is how I am adding the details. So uh, this is going to be like not a same a level of uh, highlight on all the sides. So I am keeping the uh, you know, minimum at somewhere and more highlighted at somewhere. So I imagining that we have the lighting from the left side. So I am adding the highlight details on the um, left corners of the entire P you can see so this is also, also the right uh, I mean left side of the P this is left so here also the left side of the P here the lights comes from the left and here as well this is also the left side so you can see I just added the highlight details uh, for the left part so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a purple background color so yeah I think we have to change the details to current play and then add okay so now I have added the purple color and what I'm going to do is using the charcoal brush, I'm adding little more highlights like this to the P so it looks more glossy. Okay, so now. I am going to add the texture, glass texture to it. So in the material pattern colors, I am choosing glass 01. This is the clipping layer. So I am just changing uh, blending mode of the layer to multiply. 
and this is how it looks I am just positioning and checking where it comes perfect so now I am going to uh, create a texture at the top layer of all of this and the brush is will tip in hard and I am using a texture uh, crampled pepper like texture so I am adding details like this and changing the blending mode to overlay and reducing the opacity so that it looks like blended texture okay still i feel something missing so i'm adding darker purple details at the corner so i'm keeping the kaleidoscope ruler to four and using the charcoal mode uh, brush i'm adding some dark textures at the corner something like this and I'm going to change the layer blending mode to multiply now you can see the difference once I change the blending mode to multiply it looks really dark blended well and you know it's a rich look so now I'm going to create the shadow so I just duplicated the P original P once again and keeping it uh, below the uh, pink P and positioning something like this this side and now I'm using the blur Gaussian blur with the maximum radius and now it looks like a perfect shadow so now now I'm going to add some glitter like a uh, blinks here and there so here you can see if it looks comes like this um, a little bit away from the position you can using lasso tool you can select that part and move to the correct location like this and also change the size as you wish okay this is almost ready and i feel it's perfect but i need some more glossiness so once again i'm going to move the add blending mode clipping layer of the p and adding these uh, highlight details i'm just concentrating more on the uh, gaps between the motif shapes so that it looks more glossy something like that and yes i'm going to save it as png this is the final look so i hope you like this tutorial and learned something new if you like my techniques my art tutorials please subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching